Hi guys, um, I know I said I was going to paint uh, on the next video and of course I found an excuse to postpone it. Um, yeah, uh, I've, uh, I've decided to uh, remove the spindle for uh, a few reasons. One of them is that uh, for the paint job uh, it's going to be pretty awkward if it's there. Um, but also, uh, there was a oil spindle oil lube leak of some sort, or I don't know what it was, but it was getting very greasy very fast in there. And um, I'd like to check the seals uh, and, you know, just inspection while I'm here. Um, and I wasn't quite clear on how... Uh, um, this is disassembled. I've watched videos and read uh, on it, but uh, there was still some bits I, I wasn't clear. Uh, and I needed to see uh, if uh, something is... I'm going to get you closer soon, but uh, first... Um, this is why I decided to clean up uh, the um, drawbar cylinder assembly, uh, so that I could... Uh, see for myself how things are moving in there. So uh, I cleaned it up, we're, we'll have a look at it and we'll uh, install it and test uh, see uh, how things are moving in there. Okay, so uh, I'll get you closer, explain what, I'm, what I mean. Um, okay, so uh, this uh, the, the 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 drawbar uh, cylinder assembly it pushes right in on uh, on this uh, surface here, um, but uh, I want to know um, if uh, this part here is also moving up and down uh, when the drawbar cylinder pushes on this surface, um, and I don't know if you can see. I'll try to zoom in a bit. Okay, um, there are two uh, little like moon-shaped uh, half, uh, half circle bits. You can see one down there. And you have, I know that you have to remove these, both of these to um, free this part so that it can be pushed out uh, where the tool is normally uh, installed. And f at this moment, this can, I think, be pulled out with all the, 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 the springs and then the pulley, and then you can remove uh, the, the whole spindle. So um, I think that I need to push on this surface here uh, with a, a puller um, so that I can remove the, both of these uh, half, uh, like, half parts of washers or I don't know these little snap rings kind of thing um, but I, I just want to see if this is moving or not so that I know that I can push on it or is it part of the pulley or it's unclear to me so uh, this is what I'm gonna check out okay so uh, we'll install the, uh, the, the, the the drawbar cylinder assembly and uh, look at it Okay, so first uh, the uh, strap alignment uh, block, or I don't know what it's called. Then this bit here. So now, if I push air through here 
the drawbar should move. Okay. So what I want to know is if the bigger cylinder part is moving or not. I'm going to put my phone on video, turn the LED on, and try to see with the camera. Okay, I think I see. Let's try this. Yeah. Okay, I see it pretty well actually. Yep. Excellent. So now we know. Okay, uh Okay, so um, yeah, I'll just explain uh, once more quickly. Um, so I'm going to have to uh, make a tool that will push on uh, this area, um, but with uh, openings on both sides so that I can I guess with a magnet or something uh, or a small tool pull out uh, these uh, two uh, we'll call them snap rings because I just don't know how to call them um, so I'll have to use a puller to push on that tool that I'm going to build um, so that's uh, that's next. I guess I'll try to uh, do it at work uh, tomorrow. It's uh, Sunday tomorrow, so I should uh, have access to the machines. Okay, so uh, that's it. And now that we have the uh, the drawbar um, cylinder assembly all cleaned up, maybe uh, we can have a, a closer look at it. Okay, so... Uh, this is the actual uh, cylinder right here. Um, if I uh, send air in here, you'll see it move. Um, you probably saw it. Uh, when I cleaned it, there is an O-ring all around this uh, this part here, and since this is a very large surface, it's very strong. Um, and one thing to uh, look for if you remove it completely, like I did, when you uh, reassemble it, there's a small magnet here, and uh, this magnet has to be aligned with this uh, Hall effect sensor here as you can see uh, it's connected there's a wire so this is a, a sensor and you have to make sure that uh, when you assemble it that uh, the magnet uh, is aligned with the uh, with the, 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 the sensor Otherwise, uh, what else is in there? Um, this is uh, the small cylinder that aligns uh, with uh, the, the notch on the on the spindle pulley. There's a small bearing here. There's not much to say. Uh, there's another all effect sensor here that um, um, is aligned with um, a magnet on uh, on the pulley uh, here over here. 
so yeah that's pretty much it uh, not much else uh, to say about this uh, assembly so far anyway if you have uh, any uh, any things I should look for or whatever uh, when uh, reassembling it there is an alignment here um, this uh, hole here is uh, slotted so you can uh, align uh, the position of the pulley um, I didn't really check when I disassembled it so uh, I just placed it in the middle and if I need uh, adju adjustment I'll do it then now I know it's there anyway so now you know as well okay so uh, that's it uh, for uh, this video and hopefully next one will be uh, removing the, the spindle. Thank you for watching. Bye.